On May 5th, Nokothula Mabaso, a militant land rights activist in South Africa, was assassinated. Mabaso was a leader of Abaklali Basse Mujundolo, South Africa's militant shack dwellers movement that fights for land rights of the urban poor. She was a 40-year-old mother of four and was leading the Abhaklali commune in the e Khanana occupation in Durban. She was the third activist of the movement to be killed in less than two months. My name is Mkapeli Ponono. I am the deputy president of Abhaklali. Today, as a movement, we are mourning. We are deeply hurt. It's painful for losing Comrade Mabaso. Also, as everybody knows that just two months ago, Comrade Ayan Angela was also gunned down to Ekelana. With all these killings, we are really being hurt. And we are asking ourselves the question, why the government, even the Minister of Police, doesn't come and assist us. But we are clear that the Ngubanes that are behind of this killing, uh, also the local ANC in that area, are also working with uh, Ofakito Police Station. Abaklali described her as a soldier in the movement who ensured that more than 100 families had land and roof over their heads. Mabasa was gunned down on the evening before she was supposed to appear in court to oppose the bail of Khaya Engubane. Khaya is the son of the local African National Congress chief, N.S. Engubane. He is accused by eyewitnesses in the Ikhanana commune of assassinating their deputy chairperson, 29-year-old Ayanda Engila, on March 8th. He is also accused of attacking and injuring two other members of Ikhanana with an axe two days before Angila's assassination. Mabasa was a key witness to Ayanda Angila's murder. On her way back to her shack from a meeting with her comrades who had planned to go to court the next morning, Mabasa was shot at around 7.30 pm outside her home with six bullets, four in her back, one in her chest and one in her stomach. Mabasa was instrumental in developing the Ikhanana commune's food sovereignty projects which included a poultry farm. This allowed the residents to generate enough revenue to sustain the community. Abaklali's statement said she played a key role in turning the occupation into a commune. However, a sustained campaign of attacks and arrests against the commune's leaders by the ruling ANC government depleted the community's savings and the projects began to suffer. Mabasa took charge at that time and ensured that the projects that sustained the commune survived. Since 2009, the movement has lost 23 leaders to assassinations. Abhaklali stated, We have built a commune in which, according to the principles of Abhaklalism, land is not bought and sold and shacks are not rented. The local ANC wants the land in Ikhanana to be used for private profit and not for communal purposes. The ANC is threatened by a woman who has led the occupation and continued with the commune despite the severe repression over the years and when other leaders are in jail, in hiding, or have been assassinated. So right now, we are losing people in the Kenana, and we are clear that why they are doing this to us is because of the work that Abathali do in the Kenana. But today, Mabaso is no more, and no one is there from the government to assist us. We are calling with all progressive forces to join us in solidarity, and then we can be able to strengthen uh, our work as Abathali. The struggle continue.